and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, my name's Erica. I'm also known as Nani. Got my little Nani necklace on. Madison bought me that. I for totally forgot and I found it in my jewelry box. But welcome back. Today we are actually headed out the door. It is evening, almost dinner time. I showed you I was making some cookies. Jackson has a party, so we're taking him to drop him off at that. He's gonna be gone for like hours and hours and hours, so. Mary and I are going on a date. It's date night tonight. So, got the cookies, got everything we need. We're headed out the door. I think we're gonna get Mexican food, do a little shopping. I don't know what else. I'd love to go to a movie, but I just don't think there's anything playing that we wanna see right now. But, I did tell you in my last video that we had something that's gonna be delivered, and it's gonna be delivered tomorrow. So it's gonna be in this video. So I will share that with you later. They're all outside waiting for me, and it is hot today. It's supposed to be 86. I'm not sure if it is, but then uh, in like a couple days, the high is gonna be in the 40s. So this is some wonky weather we're having. So I didn't tell you the cookies I made, it's just the recipe on the back of the Walmart brand, the Great Value Chocolate Chips. And I made these recently and we loved them. They were really good, so I made them again. I like to make them really big. I didn't make them as big this time, but they're really good and it's on the bag, so. So dinner was amazing, but my stomach is hurting because I ate way too much because I hadn't eaten anything and then, you know. And you start eating chips and salsa and then you get full and then your dinner comes and you eat your dinner. So yeah, I'm full. I also put my sweatshirt on because it was cold in there. The air conditioner was on. We have um, several hours before, yeah, when they stop so far back. before Jackson uh, is done. So I actually told Mary and I want to go look at these, this area of town where the trees are always really really beautiful and I want to look at them before it gets dark so I'm a little bit obsessed with the beautiful fall colors in case you haven't in case you can't tell but a lot of you tell me that you like to see them because like if you live in Florida or Texas where you don't really have like the fall colors then you like to see them they're just beautiful right now the Sun is setting so it's like illuminating all of them it's so <laughs> and uh, then I don't know I know we have to go run to Walmart I got to get more food for Claire and a couple things This is our old neighborhood actually when both both the girls were born. We lived over here and we used to trick or we trick or treated in this neighborhood our their whole childhood. I can show you our old house. This is our old street. Oh that tree's pretty. This is our old house right here. That's where Lane and Madison were born. Well, the house we brought them home in. We lived there for eight years. And then we move to the house we live in now. It is so strangely hot. It feels like we're walking out in the middle of the summer and it's almost November. And look at the moon tonight. It's like a super moon. Hard to tell on camera, but it is massive. All right, we're home. Everybody thinks it's time to eat and it's not. It's like 7.15. <laughs> um, I just thought I'd do a, a little Walmart grocery haul. I got my zero sugar Cokes and some bubbly for Marion. I know, I know, everybody's here. Just a minute, y'all. I'll give you a snack. Um, I got a bunch more of these little shakes for Claire because she's eating like one plus a day. So I needed more. Just got one more thing of dog food and two of these extra gravy. I found these actually at Kroger. Um, I just always want to be stocked up. I got this. I thought this was a pretty color for fall. I want to give myself a pedicure tomorrow. Some more face wipes, makeup remover wipes, some milk. I saw this. They had pumpkin spice. Um, frosted flakes and then pumpkin pie spice mini wheats. To me, that sounds so good. I want those. I'll have those for snacking. That'll be good. 
Um, I got some more Cheddar Bay Biscuits just because I think I'm going to make those with one of our meals this week, this next week. I got two of these giant Cosmic Crisp Apples for Jackson. Some more bananas. We needed some more hot dog buns for we used the other ones I bought. And we're going to have hot dogs and chili on Halloween. Got some unfrosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. Some Great Value Ritz crackers. And then Marion saw these and thought they sounded good. Honey mustard seasoned pretzel twist. And then he loves those fig bars. And then we went into Kroger because they, that's where I find my no sugar added bluebell. And I really wanted some more. So I got that and it was on sale for $6.99. And then Marion got this caramel praline for him. And I've been wanting to get a heated throw because when I put this on the floor, the animals love it. So, um, and it has a 10 hour auto cutoff. So the, with the three settings, I'll keep it like on the lowest one. And especially Claire, um, I know they can't get too hot. You have to watch them, but uh, on low, just like during the day, this will be good for her because she just doesn't have any body fat. But this was 22 something at Walmart. It was the cheapest I have found. I'm gonna give Claire one of these little shakes. I opened one earlier and I gave it, put it in her bowl and then I forgot about it and walked away. And of course, as soon as she was done, all the other animals helped themselves to it. So it's gone and she will eat like, she'll eat like over half of it herself. And then we put the rest into a little syringe. So I'm gonna give her this to eat. She's asking for food. All right, y'all, it is way later in the evening, in the night. It's at like 11.15. Marion just left to get Jackson. We knew it was going to be late, but we weren't sure what time. But he's actually picking him up now, and it's about 15-minute drive home. So they'll be home in bed by midnight, but it's just a late night. Um, we had a wonderful date night, though. We came home and just watched a movie here. We, were gonna, we wanted to go to the theater, but... There were all only horror movies it seemed like that were playing so we just found a movie on voodoo and had some ice cream and it was wonderful so um but i wanted to let you know what is happening tomorrow so in the morning i might just pick up my camera i might not be telling you what's going on but i wanted to let you know now in that way we'll catch uh, catch i can catch you up so you know um but we did it again we bought a couch we bought another couch <laughs> bought another couch um it's, it's it's a saga it's a saga that's ongoing and it's a long story and i'm not going to go into all the details but we bought a couch from the same guy that we bought this one from it's a great deal it's gray it's gray which is which is what i wanted this one's beautiful but it's beige it's very beige and that's not what i wanted when i bought it i thought it was more of a light tan because that's what the picture showed because it was outside and blah 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 but I've made it work and it's beautiful and it's comfortable. It's just not my style. I prefer gray. So I found a gray one. I have found a few and they're always gone before I uh, get them. Someone else buys them before I can. But the one I got is literally perfect. And it's, I was the first one. So thank, thank the Lord. I was like, well, God, if you want me to have it, then, you'll, then, you know, I didn't worry about it. And, and it's mine. So I'm getting it tomorrow. He's delivering it tomorrow. He's actually taking this couch, which Madison has always been in love with this couch. She's always said if I ever get rid of it, she wants it. So she's getting a new couch too. She's getting this big one and it's going to be great for her. It's going to be perfect. So it's going to be busy tomorrow. I have to, I was going to vacuum this out tonight, but it's too late. I'm too tired. So I'm going to do it in the morning and uh, the man is going to deliver my new my couch and also he offered to take this couch to madison's house so he, we're gonna un take this one out bring the new one in and load this one up and then take it to madison's house it's gonna be an ordeal and it's gonna take a while but i wanted to tell you now so if you see me cleaning my couch tomorrow and moving couches and all that you'll understand there is one thing that i'm i'm i'm, I'm not gonna say i'm worried i was worried about it but i'm, I'm not gonna worry about it it's not that big a deal. We'll make it work. Um, his measurements, if his measurements are correct, it's bigger than this couch and this one wall right here, the couch is going to be like literally a half an inch too long. Like the door won't be able to open. So we got to figure that out. We have, we have a couple ideas we've talked about ways to make it fit. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm not going to worry about it because this couch is literally so pretty at least the pictures are <laughs> the pictures are it's just light gray and it goes you know the l shape this way so this is open and we just have 
much more space when there's not a couch sticking out right there. You know, if I had a bigger space, it wouldn't be a big deal. The, the con is that my curtains will be smushed, you know, along the, both walls. It'll go along the, cush the curtains. So I like it both. I like there's there's pros and cons for both both of them. But for this this time right now with having Paisley here a lot and just our family growing, like we just need the openness. You know, we try to squeeze every square inch out of this house we can. And it's just a, a better flow when, you know, we just have the couches along the wall. So that's what's going to be happening in the morning. I'm excited. We bought, well, we talked to him like three days ago and arranged for delivery on Sunday so it's gonna be exciting so I'm gonna share that with you in this video and hopefully when he delivers it it's just as beautiful as the picture <laughs> but everybody's super lazy because it's super late I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this don't know yet don't know we'll figure that out I'm probably I'm gonna keep this probably and as an ottoman for the couch maybe recover it I don't know but the green walls and the green curtains and all that is going to stay. I think it goes really pretty with, well, I think it goes with the beige too, but I think it goes really pretty with the gray. And the cool tones are the are the colors that I like to have. So this, obviously, this baby swing won't be able to stay there. She's kind of, you know, starting to outgrow that anyways, but um, we'll move it. We'll move it somewhere over there, over there, or somewhere, and we'll put our Christmas tree somewhere. It'll work. It always does. Also, my aid is upside down, but you know what? It's almost the 29th. I'm just going to change it to the 29th. I love this little thing. It's so cute. And it's almost November. Oh, there we go. All right, Oliver. You ready to go night-night? You ready to go night-night? You're already night-night, huh? change of plans it's kind of irritating because we didn't go to church this morning because of all this happening like right after church so we were like well we'll just watch it at home and then the guy just texted me well a while back and told me he he wanted if he could come at like three instead and 
three o'clock isn't gonna work for like moving our old couch to Madison's because Jordan and her have plans this afternoon so we really need his help moving this i told the guy three that's fine he can bring the new couch whenever it's convenient but we're just going to have to go ahead and move ours because you know we won't have their help later so we're going to actually have to put this in two pieces into our car which will be two trips hopefully it will fit i mean we've we fit elena and andrew's brand new huge sectional in our car in two pieces it was tricky but we did it so our car is not, you know, it's just an SUV, but it actually fits a lot more than it looks like it would. So I went ahead and cleaned it out, vacuumed it out. It wasn't terrible at all, but because I keep the, the hair cleaned up constantly, so it wasn't bad at all, but I did vacuum them. And then uh, Madison is gonna, you know, clean them when she gets them. But once they're out and we get back, then I can like clean the floor and everything and get ready for the new one. And this is what my dad, Clyde, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's trying, he's trying to climb it. You are such a little stinker. Always trying to climb in things. Um, this is what my dining room looks like. <laughs> All right, Jackson's not feeling good today, but he's gonna help. Claire's inspecting. Um, Marion had to like move some stuff on the porch to bring this out, and if it doesn't work, we'll have to come out. Well, we brought it in that way. The new one is supposedly longer, so we may have to come in the back door, but we won't know. I think we'll do this big piece first because it's the hard one. <laughs> Clyde, don't even think about it. I'm gonna put you up. It's in, but it won't close. Well, if you drive. All right, we got one out. It's echoey in here. <laughs> but this is how open it's gonna be with the new one because, you know, it'll be over here. My dogs are up in the bathroom, in case you're wondering. They, you know, will dart out the door if we let him, we'll let him out. Actually, I'm gonna let him out now so that when we take the couch, they can be out. When we get back and load the other one, then they will have to come back up. You know what? I need to switch my laundry over too before we go because I got a ton of laundry today. got the first one done second one loaded up and the light is drowning it out the poor dogs they can't look out now we're gonna get the new one very soon So this rug, I think while I have the opportunity, I'm gonna go ahead and like twist it around because obviously like all under here, it's like brand new and over here, it still looks really good and it actually doesn't feel that much difference, but this is where all the people walk through and stuff. So this corner over here by the door, because I vacuum it, starting to mess up. So every time I vacuum, I'm have to be really careful so that corner will be over there if I switch it around I just think it'll make more sense might as well do it while I don't have any furniture in here the baseboards and just this part of the floor and clean them but the sun is just really drowning 
flip you over. The sun is making it so difficult. The guy is here with the new couch. All right, here it is. Um, obviously, took the cushions off, cushion covers off, threw them in the wash. The amazing thing about it is that these also come off. So I'll do those in a separate load, but I have dreamt of having a couch where I could take all the cushions off, and I did not know that this one was like that, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. Also, these cushions flip over, like they're the same on both sides, so if something happened, a snag or a tear, or a stain I couldn't get out, I can flip them over and it's the same. So. That's amazing. I can tell that this couch was expensive <laughs> when it was new. It is so deep. It's like oversized. And look, it just, just fits right there. still in the wash so that's not been finished yet but we went ahead and took the baby swing and the jumper thing downstairs because um, I'll, I'll have Paisley for a couple days and then I won't have her for a couple days so then we'll just bring them up and down the stairs whenever we need them there's just not enough room I'm not gonna keep this most likely but for now for now so that's why I, I'll show you downstairs where I put the baby stuff but that's why we had that room down there for extra stuff and we'll just store it there and she won't be using those forever so this table is not going to stay here I was thinking this couch was a little bit longer and that this would be centered underneath these but it's not so it's fine 
but this, you know, it's kind of weird next to that, so. I'm still waiting for the couch cushion covers to finish washing. I'm gonna clean my kitchen, load my dishwasher. Marion just had some leftovers. I gotta figure out Jackson and I. He's not feeling real good, I'm not positive. If he's gonna go to school tomorrow, it just depends on how he's feeling. He came home sick one day last week, and then he was, he went to school every other day. Just wasn't feeling his best, and he woke up this morning all stuffy and I don't know, he's got a doctor's appointment tomorrow anyway, so we'll figure it out. I'm gonna clean my kitchen real quick. I got the kitchen cleaned up. All right, they're done and they look good. They look good. They're gonna. I mean, they weren't really dirty. I just like to, you know, freshen them up. So I know this is. Probably not them, but Madison and her boyfriend, he's a pilot. They're up right now. He rented a plane, took her out, and they, there's a plane coming over my house right now. So I'm just going to film it in case it <laughs> happens to be them later. That is really cool. Maybe that's them. It's really clouding up, so hard to see. But the airport's not too far from us. Maybe that's them. about the size of the plane they're in. I'm gonna have to text her when she gets back and tell, ask her if they flew over our house at whatever time it is, cause that very likely could have been them. Don't know if that was her or not, but she literally just texted me all these photos and videos. When I walked inside of like the sunset and the, I'll try to see, I'll show you this one, it's so pretty, of the, um, the fall colors are like at peak. So that's what it looks like with the sun setting on the trees, it's hard to see, but with the sun setting, making them all orange. Oh, what a fun date. He's a, he's a pilot getting all his hours in so that once he gets all his hours in, then he can, you know, he has dreams of flying like big commercial planes and stuff. It's really exciting. So that was her first time up with him. But I was outside watching the plane and I let my chicken burn. <laughs> Jackson and I are having some chicken strips and I have some leftover hibachi rice that I made the other night. Dinner is gonna be super easy. Just took these out of the dryer and they smell so clean and fresh. They did really good in the wash. This is a really good quality fabric. I'm so excited about that because I've had some before, like the one, the couch I had from Big Lots when I washed them, they just like started to fall apart. It was awful, but these, I just zipped them up because there's lots of little strings on the inside. They turn out really good, so I'm gonna, it's a, it's a monumental task, it feels like, putting them back on, but I'm gonna put them back on, and then I'm gonna take those off and put them in the wash because I don't wanna just like wait. Oh, then I won't do it, so I'm just gonna do it tonight. The only thing is that they don't have, like, they're not, like these, it's like loose. Let me show you. So it's like this, so it's probably gonna make a mess, and it's gonna be tricky to stick it back in, but, they are made to come off, so I am gonna take them off.
just like that, they are finished wa washing and drying. Hopefully they're dry. I tried to like not put them on for a long time, but. So now comes the monumental task of putting the cushions back together. So um, when I was just loading these into the washing machine, like my hands, I could feel there was like a film on them from it, you know. They probably honestly never washed them because, I don't know, they may not have, but <laughs> these dogs are so cute. I mean, who needs cushion covers anyways, right? That's so cozy. Is that so cozy, Ollie? <laughs> They're so confused. They're so confused, but we're gonna, well, I, I, I am going to put all of this back on. So through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna put them back on. It's gonna be quite a task, but let's do this. All right, there we go. Only took me 30 minutes. <laughs> Got to put back together. Probably not gonna keep these pillows, and these pillows will be coming off pretty soon because they're my fall decor. I have two more pillowcases that are that match that. I love these pillowcases. They're in my Amazon shop. They are so amazing, so soft, and they have like multiple sets, and I bought the one that was like blues and grays, and it had this one. Um, it had four. I forget what the other one was, but they are so, they're like my favorite pillowcases I've ever bought. I think they were kind of pricey, like $30 for a set of four, but they're such good quality and they don't attract hair at all. I never have to really get any hair off of them. So I'm going to pull my other ones up and see, but I'm going to be putting Christmas pillows out soon. So we're not going to worry too much about that, but the couch smells like so fresh and clean now. It makes me feel so much better <laughs> knowing that they're all clean. I love that I can take those off. I do think I'm still going to go get some more fluff and fluff them up just a little bit more, but they're pretty, since I took it out and put it back in, they feel pretty, pretty full, pretty full. I don't know if I made them a little stiffer, maybe the dogs could get up here easier. So maybe I'll do that, but I love the way that it looks. Of course, I've got animals all over it, but that's, that's their house too. I'm going to go ahead and end the video, but thank you so much for spending the weekend with us. It was definitely a different kind of weekend. I had some plans that I didn't get done, but the main thing was I really wanted to get the couch. I love it. Love the way that it looks. Of course, I'll be moving things around, figuring it out because I'm always trying to squeeze every square inch out of this house. <laughs> and with Christmas coming up like real soon, Christmas decor, I'm going to have to put the tree up and yeah, but I just love like the, the, the cool tones. I love the way that it looks and Madison loves loves my old couch. She's loving it at her place. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for always encouraging and supporting me and coming back and all your comments and thumbs ups and all that. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.